Track loops offer a fast and flexible workflow, effectively allowing the user to save and record single or multi-track content across any project or tempo. In this example, we'll generate an eight bar layered loop and use track loops to quickly arrange the content. Let's start by laying down some chords using Tractions Collective. Let's add a little low end. Again, we've loaded a preset from Tractions Collective here. Some verbed out percussion. This tambourine sample has been dragged into the multi sampler before having a generous amount of reverb applied. Some delayed keys. Collective's comb rhythm preset coupled with traction stereo delay creates this effect. And some resampled drums from the Imagina loop series. This loop was dragged into the multi sampler, sliced into segments, and mapped across the keys allowing us to trigger our own patterns via MIDI. Fast forward and we have a fairly busy 8-bar loop. There are some okay ideas here, but not everything is sitting together as I'd like. Let's use track loops to arrange and organize this content. First, we'll need to save each track to track loop format. This will retain the recorded clip along with any instruments and effects associated with the track. To do this, right click on a track and navigate to save preset. Here we have the option of saving track outputs, track plugins, track plugins and outputs, or whole track. We're going to select whole track. Now let's add some details. For the purpose of this exercise, I'll name this track loop Demo Drums Main Loop 1. Take some time selecting meaningful tags as they'll come in handy when searching for content later on. Finally, make sure Save Audio Preview is checked. This will create an audio preview of the track loop that can be auditioned later from within the browser. Let's create and save a variation of this drum loop for the track intro. Here we will delete all drums except for the final fill, which will be used for the arrangement's introduction. The clip will be saved as its own track loop. With the drums now taken care of, we'll need to do the same for the other tracks in this 8-bar loop. Once the content is saved in track loop format, we can create a new project and begin our arrangement. Open the browser and type demo into the search box. Immediately we're presented with the track loops we just created. Let's drag a few into the arrangement window. When prompted, select insert track from preset. Notice how the track names, MIDI clips, instruments, effects and modifiers are recalled with each track loop. With a simple click, track loops in the browser can be auditioned in time with your arrangement. Let's see how the drums sound here. Now the sub bass. And the intro effects. To stop playback, there's a stop button located below. Let's add to this arrangement by dragging our percussion track loop onto track 5. Track loops contain real clips which can be edited as you please. Here we'll delete some of the percussion. Now let's bring in the drums. 
We can add our drum variations by importing a track loop and selecting Insert Clips onto existing tracks. This technique can really speed up the arrangement process. Fast forward once again and we've mapped out a quick arrangement from our 8 bar loop. Track loops allow us to quickly sketch out ideas and save content in a way that's easy to audition or recall later. Don't forget, the track loops you create can be brought into any project you work on, past, present or future. Whether you're looking to speed up your workflow, remix material or simply experiment, track loops have you covered. <laughs>